All right, my people. So we're leaving the post office now. Gonna go finish up this, this drive around town. Oh yeah, I was gonna drive to the village, but I forgot about it and I can't get in a straight lane right now, so fuck it. Fuck it, man, fuck it, huh? Fuck it with the bucket. I can make a left at any one of these turns, but that's okay. And unfortunately, you guys, well, I just got my schedule for work for this next week. I, I, I'm only on three days, dude, the whole week. Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday. And then I think that's it, you guys. I think we're done. Um, the reason why I say that is because, oh, we just passed the old fucking country store. Damn it. It's going to point it out again. Um, because I don't, there's no weather forecasted. <laughs> well, of course there's weather forecasted. That'd be pretty freaky if we just had no weather. I mean, it was just limbo. But uh, yeah, for the next next two weeks, there is nothing in the forecast. So I'm pretty sure we're, we're, we're gonna be shut down. And like next week, we're supposed to hit the mid 60s, you guys, the mid 60s um, by like the end of March. So I just, I don't see us staying open much longer, you guys, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's such a fucking bummer, man. I know I said it's not a bummer when I was talking all heated about like how how I feel the resorts actually like treat everybody like when we had the ski instructor pass away uh, she crashed in into a tree like a lot of us we wanted to know ab about the services and when the services are and what we can do to help and um, like no one said anything no one wanted to say anything um, so it just showed me their true 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 colors there are ways about going ways about being honest about things without having to destroy your own business but I don't know I explained all this shit on a previous video it's just it it's just it's just frustrating I like working there because it has a lot of nostalgia for me because as a kid, I just loved that place, Bear Mountain, big time. Loved it, loved it. It was like my favorite place to be. Um, so I, I love working there for that. Um, otherwise, it's just a job. I mean, fuck, 11 bucks per hour. I guarantee you, I, I could find many easier jobs to do for 11 bucks per hour. That job's not fucking easy. It's constantly on the go. You're constantly fucking working. You're constantly serving customers. Um, Thankfully, the customers up here come up here happy. They're up here to go skiing. They're up here to have fun. So that's cool. Um, the customer, like, it takes a lot to piss off our customers up here, but it can happen. Like when our weather reports or our resorts say we got all this new snow, and and they show you those videos from the very top of the mountain, so it actually looks like all this new snow. Um, and then you guys come up here, and then you guys get pissed. Like those are the times that when I deal with some angry, angry, angry customers, but that's, for me, that's completely justified. It's completely justified. You guys have every right to be pissed off and frankly, never want to come back up here again. Um, and it, and it, it sucks for my ultimate bottom line because then I don't have you guys here. I don't have anybody visiting, uh, meaning that less people are cruising up here. Jobs will be more scarce, less scarce, more scarce. Yeah, it's just a pain in the fucking ass, man. Like, oh, I got this. I got this shit. See it. See it. But yeah, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Here's Boulder Bay. Oh my God, this looks just beautiful today, guys. After after this rain we got, which I'm thinking, even though we didn't hardly get shit. This was still probably the most precipitation we received of any storm this season. So. When I used to come up here with a friend on this street, Cove, <coughs> you go down to the very fucking bottom. His parents had like probably one of the biggest houses up here 
but right on the corner of the lake. And uh, it was, dude, just a magnificent place. Um, I miss that too, man. I miss hanging out with him. I miss hanging out. I miss that, that lifestyle. This guy's father was like a, a juggernaut when it comes to equipment for e um, emergency rooms and stuff. Dr. Gary Groves, very successful physician. Um, shit, like back when everything was still expensive as well, I mean really expensive in the late 90s, early 2000s, in, right at the beach in Orange County. It's still expensive as fuck there now. But like back then, prior to the last major housing crash, uh, he bought five acres in South Laguna, right next to Three Arch Bay on the water side. The whole five acres is is right there on the water side. Part of that beach is, is like their own beach. Um, dude, it's just, it's amazing to me where that amount of money comes from. Like it's absolutely amazing. My parents had a lot of money growing up too. And uh, like I, I, you know, once you become an adult, you, you realize it's just, it's not fucking, it doesn't just grow on trees, man. And it's, it's not fucking easy to attain that much money, to earn that much money and uh, to live a lifestyle like that. Cause you gotta continue making that money. So yeah, I admire these, these super wealthy people, man. I, I truly, truly, truly do, man. They take major risks, they work hard. They do what they gotta do, man. Gotta love capitalism, you guys. Gotta love capitalism. <laughs> oh my God, that lake view is insane today. <laughs> All right. So, here we go, make it straighter. And there we go. So, let's, let's see what the temperature is right now. We're supposed to get really cold tomorrow and the following day actually, or uh, this weekend's supposed to be cold, in the low 40s and 30s. Right now, it's 53 degrees in the Big Bear, the Big Bear, oh, the Big Bear. And we're not gonna do the little Arctic Circle, although I know the views looking down would probably better be way better than anything we've ever seen so far this year, but Unfortunately guys, I don't have any gas and I don't know if you just heard that a gas gauge go on But that last 10 bucks I was talking about yesterday. I put that in here <coughs> I mean dude, I don't use this car for anything else but these drives I drive my motorcycle for everything else Wow This is gonna be beautiful So we're gonna keep that camera pointed out that direction then we're just gonna drive this part of the lake really slow unless we get cars right behind me. Oh yeah, just beautiful, you guys. I need to mount my camera on the roof of the car so it gets better views from higher up. Just magnificent. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, I need a chick, bro. I need a chick bad. For my first few, yes, my first few years up here, been a nightmare for me when it comes to like females but but then again I moved up here shortly after I stopped drinking and obviously when I moved up here I was terrified of like ever drinking again I was worried that if I have a drink up here I'm, I'm gonna die I will die up here because uh, I know how I get when I'm in the midst of my alcoholism and I know I would fucking die up here 
I've been in situations where I've been so fucking drunk in other states where like, like one time apparently I like called my mom like absolutely bawling on the side of the fucking road. My car wouldn't start apparently. Like it was a rent a car. I was there on fucking business. And I'm like telling her it's like way below freezing. I don't know what the fuck to do. And she doesn't know what the fuck to do because she doesn't know where I'm at. And she's panicking at two in the morning and shit. I'm in North Carolina. She's in Newport Beach. Um, like, uh, yeah, dude, fucking, I mean, that's just how, that's just how, how my life was, dude. I put all these people who cared about me through so much heartache and just, just, a, just stress, man. So I'm, I'm glad I don't, I don't do that to her anymore, man. And it was crazy because what... What had happened, so I ended up back at my uh, brother's house, and apparently some someone, like, pulled over at, like, 2 in the morning on a North Carolina highway and, like, hopped in my car and drove me home, apparently, in the rent-a-car just to make sure I got home safe. Like, I don't remember any of this, dude. My fucking brother told me that. I don't remember any of this shit. And um, so the next day I wake up, I, I, I go back to the bar that I had left that that previous night thinking I left on like good terms right I mean shit why not right I mean shit I'm the life of the party I'm a funny ass guy so I fucking I I I, I end up showing up there and then the the bartenders when I sit down they look at me like so how you feeling today man is everything okay I'm like uh yeah everything's fine why wouldn't it be They're like oh because we had to throw you out last night I'm like what the fuck so what happened was, because uh, as you guys know, by now I'm a conservative and uh, fucking when I got drunk, dude, I'd get really fucking irritated about things, uh, apparently. But anyway, like, uh, I, I guess most North Carolina people are conservative anyway, because they're, they're, you know, but um, I, I, apparently what I had done was I had yelled out to the whole bar like, like, fuck all you North Carolina motherfuckers, dude, I'll fuck all you up, or, like, something stupid like that, dude, something just fucking ridiculous, like, something that you would not imagine me saying, I would not imagine me saying, um, but when I was drunk, I became a whole different man, I guess, um, yeah, so I was saying shit like that, and that, like, you guys ain't shit, fucking, I'm from Southern California, go fuck yourself, like, like, yeah, dude, this was just not, not, not wise. So they let me continue to drink there. But another big issue was that one of the bartenders was my older brother's business partner in my brother's business. So apparently I was throwing out his name like, Oh, it's cool. Fucking what's his name said. It's totally cool. And it really was not totally cool. Like he, 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 he was not, he was not, not stoked that I was acting like that in the bar and uh and mentioning his name and all this other shit so oh my god look at San Gorgonio you guys look at the San Gorgonios over there you probably cannot tell but it's pretty insane just insane it's got so much snow up there you guys I'll bet they got about five feet of snow from this last storm I'd be willing to bet just beautiful yeah so that's you know those are the things that would happen when I drink and I drink every day every night and every day I'd wake up with like text messages like dude what happened last night or bro what did you do and every time I I honest to God do not remember any any, any of it I all I remember is like going to bed that's it but apparently I was out doing some stupid shit starting fights, beating people up. Yeah, my little ass, fucking people up. But that's not a surprise because I am a fighter, but um, what's a surprise is that I would behave in that fashion. You know, martial arts taught me that you need to be more humble than the word humble itself. If you can walk away from a fight, then you absolutely do it, no matter what. No matter what someone's saying, you're a pussy, you're this and that, like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, when they're calling me a fucking pussy, like, yeah, dude, you, you just don't even know, bro. You're so fucking lucky. You're so fucking lucky, dude, that you just don't even know. 
um, cause I would fucking wipe, wipe the fucking floor with your face, bro. But, uh, so yeah, man, that's, uh, so having the martial arts background and then also getting drunk, that was just not a good fucking mixture. And then I always wondered why I was so bruised up all the time and like jaw would be sore and fucking I'd have a black eye or fucking this and that. And I would just attribute it to me falling down on my ass by myself, but I don't know. I don't know. I know for a fact it's uh, from the things I was saying because as, like for the first many times you guys can look at those mountains straight ahead with all the snow right above Snow Summit stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my God, that was just beautiful, you guys. Lost my train of thought. Lost my damn train of thought. <laughs> my thought of train. Choo choo. Um, the fuck was I talking about? God damn it. Well, anyway, I'm a really fucked up drunk, you guys. Piece of shit. Um, but I didn't want to be like that. I went to that place probably as like a place of self-protection that subconsciously I would go to drunk. Um, it sucks, man. Yeah, I was I was a, a brutal drunk, man. Oh, my, my thing was like alcohol and having a fighting background and being a little scrappy guy. Like, uh, yeah, like it, it, it just, toward, towards the end, like the last year of my really heavy fucking drinking, it, it was literally like that every night, you guys. Every fucking night. I'm still winning back, still winning back my family. Um, and thankfully, most of my siblings are fucking just the world's number one losers. So I don't really give a fuck if they accept me me back. I want to have the people who are healthy and who forgive to let me back because those are the healthy ones. Um, you know, it's life's about forgiveness, dude. And I fucked up, but I never killed anybody. I never raped anybody. Um, I could have killed a lot of people, and thank God, at least at least I don't think I have. <coughs> I, I, I you, you know, you never fucking know, man. Maybe like one fucking morning, I, I'm like watching the news about a fucking hit and run, 